Good afternoon, everybody. I'm really happy to um, record this video for you again, as I had some uh, Wi-Fi and connectivity issues last Saturday. I wanted to record it in over. So what we did last time is that we, we checked on the program for teaching technological methodologies. You can also find the link over there in our platform. And yes, it gives us the general description, the scoring criteria, and some bibliography. Also, uh, in here, you can find the uh, session number one that takes us to here. And the main title is How Technology is Changing Today's Classrooms. Yes, so we were discussing in class some important aspects of, of this um, topic. And also we were checking on some definitions that we can come up with technology in general. Yes, so it was interesting to, to share these definitions of how they are related to um, education as well. Yes, yeah, so if you come to the link, you can find these definitions on your own over here. Also, we were discussing how technology is changing today's classrooms. Yes, uh, in the different ways that uh, teaching can be held today, in the distance way, for example, blended learning on the curriculum, on the online research, and other you know, aspects. Yes, uh, for academic institutions, this is like an advantage, yes, because they find out that um, nearly three quarters of participants say that the greatest potential benefit of technology is even better. Yes, the expanded access to educational and reference resources that it provides is what we mostly find. This study also finds some profound changes in the way that courses are, are taught and they think that it's truly transformative and things that have changed from the paradigms. It's interesting. And also, we are not focusing anymore in memorization of the material, but mostly on the application and solution of problems. Also, we watch this video together, which is a TEDx conference, and that you can watch again over here on the link of the video. Also, we can have an idea of what is the teacher's role. Yes, that it used to be an instructor, and now it came to be a mentor, helping others and guiding them on the steps and processes that they need to follow in order to achieve a competence. I also ask you to fill out a KWL chart that you can find in activities here in the platform. Please go to find it out. Later, uh, there are other little aspects like the role of technology in shaping the future of higher education. And the study continues in here, telling us the advantages and also disadvantages because we cannot dismiss them. And they say that nearly two thirds of the survey respondents from both public and private sectors say that technological innovation will have a mere influence on teaching methodologies over the next five years. And this is a complete truth now that we are all in distance. Online learning is gaining a firm foothold in universities around the world. And they tell us the specific numbers on how this is happening. In the past, we knew several academies and universities that talked online completely, but now it's more a reality with the pandemic. You know that most schools are now teaching online or giving hybrid models uh, of or options, modalities for teaching. Yes, and also they are telling us here some survey results and also advantages of using um, distance education. Yes. It's amazing how this is uh, going on lately. And also thinking of some disadvantages, disruptive and things that are like distractions that we can find online, but mostly it's advantages that we find. So go to activities in order to find the chart for the KWL chart and in discussion.